I'm okay to look like it. You know, I don't mind looking a bit younger. Let's roll with it. Let's roll with it. Come on, man. So today we're gonna make pesto. I usually make pesto in a food processor because it's fast, it's quick, you get like really consistent pesto. But my colleagues have been laughing at me because apparently using a pesto mortar to make pesto is a lot better. So we're gonna find out. We gotta get your pasta boiling because that's gonna take a while. Onto the pesto, we're gonna toast our nuts. We're using walnuts today, mostly because I couldn't find pine nuts. But walnuts are a perfect substitute because it blends and gives you that creamy texture the same way. And also, if I'm being honest, walnuts are a bit cheaper. We're gonna toast our walnuts because it's gonna bring out all of the oils and it's gonna make it nice, sexy, and fragrant. While we're waiting for the nuts, I wanna talk to you guys a little bit about pesto. So I think the pesto that you and I are more exposed to is with basil. Actually, pestos can be made with pretty much anything. I've eaten like a spinach pesto, I've eaten a white pesto made with, I think, white asparagus. And with regards to nuts as well, you can use almonds, macadamia nuts. Yeah, you can use different combinations and play with different pestos. Today, we're gonna just make a little bit more classic but with a little twist. We're gonna put it aside, we're gonna use it quite quickly. We're gonna need some of that pasta water to mix the sauce in and make it nice and like emulsified. Look at that. We have also picked a pasta shape that is able to like cut the sauce. I'm tossing in a little bit of oil. We're gonna use it after we make the pesto, so it's gonna sit for a while and I don't want it to stick together. So first things first, we're gonna toss in the garlic. I like it a little bit spicier, so I'm gonna use two. I'm gonna add in a bit of salt. It's gonna help it break down a little bit more. So I think that's a pretty good start. And then we're gonna go in with, I wanna say like half of our walnuts. Now we're gonna talk a little bit about basil. I see a lot of people. Why do you throw out the basil when the leaves are like a bit like this? It's fine, you're making basil. You're not like doing like a little fine dining or plate on top. You can take out the stems, right? Because the stems tend to be a little bit bitter. The pesto mortar is not super big. We're gonna pound it down a bit first and then we're gonna add some. I wanna add a bit more nuts. It's getting a little bit dry. This is when we add in a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Don't oh, chuck that in. Oh, oh. Just think about your, your boss or your ex. Give it a good dump in. This is still not super fine, but at this point, I'm gonna add in Parmigiano Reggiano. Right, at this point, we're gonna give it a bit of pepper as well. Wow. Okay, I'm happy. I'm happy with this. We are going to eat. Mm. Now that I've had pesto like that, I think it's very hard for me to go back to making pesto in a food processor again. I feel like this is definitely the way to go. It takes a bit more time, a bit more muscle, and a bit more love. I would say it's damn worth it. 